Summers are dry every year here in the Puget Sound, but soaker hoses can help you water efficiently if you follow these steps and avoid these common mistakes. Now, lots of people think that sprinklers are efficient, but sprinklers mostly send water up into the air where it's lost to evaporation. Sprinklers can also overspray, shooting water past the targeted plants onto sidewalks, driveways, and other places that will never grow, no matter how much water they get. Sprinklers can also be blocked by plants. A better idea is to use a soaker hose because soaker hoses are like leaky hoses that allow water to seep out on all sides directly into the soil where the roots need it. If used properly, soaker hoses do not spray. Here is the right way to set up a soaker hose. Keep drinking water safe by connecting a backflow prevention device. If there's a sudden drop in water pressure on your street, for instance the fire department uses a fire hydrant, water can flow backwards from your soaker hose into your indoor pipes, which is what supplies your drinking water. Prevent this from happening by connecting a backflow device to your faucet first. These only cost a couple of dollars. Slow the flow. Soaker hoses should seep, not spray. To keep water under control, add a pressure reducer before connecting your soaker hose. If your hose is still spraying, try turning your faucet down. Skipping the pressure reducer is a super common mistake that prevents a soaker hose from working efficiently. Puget Sound has lots of hills resulting in high water pressure. This is why we need to reduce this pressure for a soaker hose so that it drips and does not spray. Now, when you buy a soaker hose from the hardware store or garden center, it's gonna come wound up super tight. This is a great tip. Use a friend to unwind and stretch out your soaker hose in the warm sunshine. Let it sit for about a half hour and it'll be as relaxed as can be and easy to snake around your plants. Keep it level. Soaker hoses work best on flat ground where they can distribute water evenly to all of your plants. Now if you don't have flat ground, just remember when lying a soaker hose on a berm or hillside, water flows downhill. Lay it across the slope. If your slope is too steep, you may want to use pressurized drip irrigation. Another point to consider is your type of soil. If you have sandy soil, water will pass right through before your roots get enough. Give your sandy soil more time to absorb the water by splitting your watering time in two. Try watering in the morning and again in the evening. Another thing, use correct spacing. Lay your hose out in fairly straight lines. Avoid wrapping the hose in loops around the plants. You do not need to encircle the roots with moisture. For sandy soil, lay the lines 12 to 18 inches apart. For clay or loam soil, space them further apart, 18 to 24 inches. If the plants are new, the spacing should be closer since the roots won't be long enough to reach the wider spacing. After you lay your soaker hose, use a mulch of wood chips or compost right on top of the soaker hose. It will hold in the water and help the moisture spread throughout the soil.